Hello, this is Chan Abraham from Daybreak Ministries. Today I'd like to share a thought which may make us initially a little uncomfortable because I'd like to talk about envy and jealousy. Now, they sound like they are the same and they are very similar, but they are actually slightly different. Envy is when someone feels discontented or has ill will because of something else that somebody else has, their, or an advantage, or the way they look. Whereas jealousy is, it's envy in action, really. It gets a little bit stronger. And uh, jealousy is like envy with added resentment. Uh, and of course, it can lead us, both can lead us to taking inappropriate actions. The real problem about these emotions and these feelings is what they do to us, what they do to our relationships, and of course, the harm that they can cause to other people. Now, as I speak to you, I don't know whether you've had experiences at the hands of others who have been either envious or jealous of you. I certainly have done, and it causes a great deal of difficulty uh, and, of course, can lead to the actions of other people trying to trap you or get you into difficulty in one way or, or another. We have a story in the Bible, the story of Joseph. Many of you will be familiar with that. Joseph and his amazing Technicolor dream coat is the play uh, and the musical that you may know of. And Joseph was uh, envied by his older brothers and they were extremely jealous of him also because of the special love that Jacob, his father, had towards him. The result was that they tried to get rid of Joseph. They threw him into a pit and eventually they sold him into slavery. That's another story, but we see there the effect of envy and jealousy. They got themselves into terrible trouble because, of course, they then had terrible consciences for the rest of their lives and it caused great difficulty for Joseph. Perhaps you've been at the receiving end, as I say, as I have been, of other people's jealousy and envy. The Bible is very clear, and it tells us this. Apart from telling us that we should not be jealous or envious of others, it also tells us that love does not envy. And that's not the kind of love that brings a man and a woman together that's the love of God. The love of God as shown to us in Jesus is what the Bible tells us doesn't envy. And when we have that kind of love in our hearts, even though feelings of jealousy or envy may rise up within us, we are able to apply the love of God, that great love that led Jesus to give up his life for us on the cross, we can apply that love and say, you know, I'm not going to go down that road. I don't need to be jealous, jealous of or envious of someone else. So how do you go about applying that to your life? Well, the starting point is really to say, yeah, I do have these problems. I do fall short of the ideal, what the Bible calls God's ideal for us. But let me bring my life to God. Let me find out more about his love in my life so that I can be free of those negative feelings and so that I can live a more positive life and one that helps other people. Love does not envy. And that's the thought for today.